People who work in agriculture and natural resources are carrying on a tradition as old as civilization itself. Ever since humans made the transition from hunting and gathering to farming and building homes, they have relied on those who specialized in developing sources for food and shelter. The search for food and the operation of tools for planting and harvesting now uses the very latest technology. Agricultural and food scientists use knowledge gained in college and in graduate study to find and refine food sources that are plentiful and safe. They explore ways to protect the environment while using biotechnology to develop stronger, more nourishing plants. Farm equipment mechanics and operators manage amazingly efficient and productive machines that make it possible for one person to cultivate hundreds of acres. Though a college degree might not be necessary to maintain and use farm equipment, agriculture in America today is big business. State universities offer an array of degrees and local educational programs to help farmers make the most of their land. Modern technology has also made dramatic changes in another ancient outdoor occupation, logging. To be a logger today requires skilled handling of equipment, such as power chain saws, cable rigging, and tractors. Log handling equipment operators still need strength and coordination, though, as they take down giant trees and guide them to the lumber yard. People who love the outdoors and physical work are drawn to these careers. Much of the work is in wide open spaces. For example, forest and conservation workers apply their knowledge and experience to green areas from city parks to wilderness. Some jobs require a mix of outdoor and indoor work. Landscape architects spend more time in offices and at meetings than they do out in the space they're designing. They spend years in college and postgraduate work, learning the skills they need to create new ecosystems for public spaces. This category of natural resources includes caring for living beings as well as plants. It takes an abiding affection for animals to work with them, whether it's outdoors at zoos or indoors in clinics and grooming centers. Training is usually on the job, but to move up in your chosen field, education beyond the high school degree helps. There are other outdoor occupations that do not require extensive education. Gardeners and groundskeepers, nursery and greenhouse managers, pest controllers and assistants, pruners, sprayers and applicators are all people who work to nurture and protect plant life. Their knowledge is usually gained on the job, though licensing might be required, depending on the substances they use. The pruner. Trimming a bush to enhance its health and appearance. The scientist, testing a food preservative for longer product shelf life. The conservationist, working to protect our nation's precious wilderness. The agricultural equipment operator, reaping a vast harvest. These and other workers in agriculture and natural resources share a strong bond. They may have eight years of education, or 16, or 20, yet they all live by the land and its bountiful array of beauty and opportunity.